On my channel, I try to show amazing shots of scientific topics and concepts, like this shot of red blood cells and a white blood cell. I try to show textbook examples of these concepts, which can be pretty easy when they are experiments or demonstrations that we carry out in the lab. But when it comes to trying to show a scientific concept on something that I haven't done before, that is when things get tricky. Sometimes I know the science behind a concept, but struggle to find a way to film it. That is when I have to do some extra background research to get a better understanding of the concept and to brainstorm how to film it. So I read through Wikipedia, textbooks, and articles from scientific journals to get a better understanding of the concept. This background research helps me to think of ways to film a concept or topic. After I've done some research, I move on to experimenting on how to capture the shot I am hoping to show. I often capture great shots with experimentation and trial and error, and sometimes plain dumb luck works too. For example, I wanted to make a series of videos showing time-lapse footage of microbiology tests commonly done in microbiology courses. I have never seen a time-lapse version of these tests, just a simple before and after type video. There are two problems that arise when trying to film something like this. One, incubators which are used to grow bacteria are warm. The warm temperatures help bacteria grow faster, but it's not good for my DSLR camera and I don't want to damage it. Two, the incubators in my lab have no lights. So it is dark in a closed incubator. This means my cameras can't see anything. I solved this problem by experimenting with a few pieces of equipment and ideas, and eventually found success with a slide warmer. I stuck a thermometer into the bacterial media, which is used to grow bacteria, to calibrate the temperature of the media. I adjusted the temperature on the slide warmer until the media was at the optimal growth temperature for bacteria. Then I placed new media inoculated with bacteria on the slide warmer and started taking time-lapse pictures. This resulted in these beautiful time-lapse videos that brought life to these classic experiments. You can see bacteria growing, producing gas and metabolites, and changing the pH of the media, which in turn changes the color of the media. That is because there are chemicals called pH indicators that will change colors when the pH changes. In another video, I was showing the bacteria in a vinegar mother. A mother is a biofilm, which is made of bacteria bound together with cellulose, which is a carbohydrate. Cellulose is incredibly tiny. It can't be seen with the light microscope, which is the type I use. I thought I wouldn't be able to show the cellulose, but while filming, I noticed something. The bacteria were bound to cellulose and I discovered that if I adjust the focus and have the microscope lens gently press down on the mother, it will move the biofilm around. Bacteria in the mother moved around, but were bound by something invisible to the microscope. The invisible bindings were made of cellulose. I was able to demonstrate the presence of cellulose even though it was not visible on my microscope. In the video I made with the N95 mask, I was able to show how effective N95 masks are at attracting and trapping particles. This is because N95 masks have an electrostatic charge that attracts tiny objects like a magnet. I was able to show particles that were stuck to the mask, but I wanted to show the mask attracting something to it. I needed something really small and light. I experimented with tiny seeds, powder, and other tiny objects but they only bound to the mask when it was too close to show anything. Nothing quite worked until I tried cotton. I was able to get some attraction with cotton, but it was difficult to get any consistent attraction to show on film. I kept experimenting and finally discovered that if I used a single strand of unbound cotton, I was able to get the shot that I was looking for. This strand was so light that I had to be careful not to breathe around it or else it would move around and disrupt the shot. I always wanted to do something with photosynthesis. I just didn't have any ideas on how to film it. While filming a marimel ball algae, I noticed a bubble around an algal filament. That is when it hit me. I can use light from the microscope and aquatic plants 
to produce oxygen bubbles in a water sample. If I speed up the footage, oxygen bubbles can be seen growing as photosynthesis takes place. Plants and algae turn carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and sugar. I was able to demonstrate photosynthesis powered by my microscope light. Once I made a photosynthesis video, I used the same technique to film fermentation in yeast. Warm water, sugar, and yeast created the fermentation time-lapse videos. The yeast break down sugar to produce carbon dioxide bubbles and alcohol. So this is a little peek at the background work I do on this channel. I use science when filming for a new video. I have to do background research and experimentation combined with a pinch of luck to capture these amazing shots. Thanks for watching.